things back up. You can start a discussion. Um, and then other people have said, well, what about mod wall? And I think I saw a question about that. What if it's just mods yeah. talking to each other? Um, I think that's wonderful. So mod wall, uh, there's different opinions on this. There, the, the primary opinion, um, in my opinion, <laughs> is that a mod wall can detract from natural chat activity of other new people just coming in. I would agree. And based on my experience and based on some limited numbers that I might have about that, you, if it's all just mods talking back and forth, it could be intimidating for a brand new viewer. I yes. think, you know, a seasoned viewer, they don't really care. In fact, they might, you know, encourage them to talk, but for a brand new viewer, it can make things like a us for and no more type of club, which is kind of not exactly the kind of vibe that you want to go for. So um, I have encouraged people to sign in under alt accounts if there are mods and they're just really chatty and they're just always going off, you know, open, open a, browser tab incognito mode, sign in to an alternate account and just chat away to your heart's content. That is super interesting. Um, but without spamming the mod icon all over chat. I mean, I've encouraged it, I've done it. I, I, there, there has been some channels that I really wanted to chat but I didn't want to overwhelm the, the channel because there was kind of a low, low viewer channel and I just didn't want my icon all over the place. Yeah. So log into an alt and just keep on chatting. And, and the first part of this question is like, can having too many mods in, um, well, it says in chat be a bad thing, but like, I kind of want to steer and be like, is having too many mods in general can be problematic too. With this, I'd say it depends on your channel. Mm -hmm. um, for someone that sometimes streams at 4 a.m. Eastern or 2 p.m. Eastern, um, you kind of need to have that extra amount of mods because not everyone is going to be available at all those different times. Like it's important to have that coverage, but there, yes, there is such a thing as having too many mods. Like I've gone into some channels type slash mods and it's literally two full scrolls of 900 different people. Mm -hmm. And with that, you kind of run the risk of like, if someone comes in that you modded, I don't know, a year and a half ago that doesn't really know how much your channel has changed or anything like that. You might have them banning people when that person shouldn't have been banned because that's kind of the new direction that you've taken. Absolutely. That makes sense. So. And also with like transitioning from, as you we were talking about before, like a PG-13 stream to, you know, an R-rated stream, um, the, the culture and behavior in the, in the stream may have changed. Um, I think uh, I think a lot of them may boil. I, yeah, Jeff, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty much on board. I, well, the way that we have some of that stuff working in, is in Discord with the pinned messages, as I noted briefly. Um, uh, among the things in there is uh, con a living document, a changing. I wouldn't say constantly, but an often changing document about the expectations for the mods, uh, what we need them to be doing, what they think they need to be doing. There's a lot of, a lot of feedback, a lot of back and forth there. And if that is, uh, is updated and, and current, and the mods that you have, even from a while back, who may not have been in there for a while, know that that was a thing, that that continues to be a thing and can check in on that, I wouldn't see an issue inherently, but I don't think a lot of people do that. So I, I think if you if you have a large pool of mods, some of them can you might not even notice that they that they aren't showing up as often. Like maybe three, four months down the road, you're like, oh, have, I haven't seen so and so in quite a while. But they kind of fall in with the rest of of uh, viewership where you're not able to keep up with the 300 different names that show up in your channel throughout the week. You know, it could be problematic. Yeah. I mean, you always want to be able to keep tabs on your mods and like notice when people are gone or like even like going through your slash mods in your chat and looking through the list and be like i do that sometimes like oh i modded that dev from that game a long time ago and that one that and like uh it's nice to just like you know clean that up just for security reasons and yeah mostly um uh next question is let's see 